in olden days, uh, when the garbage was produced, there was very little, and people would just throw the garbage around. And later on, as the population grew, the garbage became a problem, and they used to store them in dumps and other places, which when the rain actually, or, or any other precipitation fell on it, the water and any contaminants in the garbage would ooze out and go into groundwater. This has become a national problem, and as far as I know, there isn't any uh, credible and, and actually practical way of treating landfill leachate. The only uh, choice they have is they, they actually haul it into wastewater treatment plant and mix it with the sewage uh, system. And there is not really treated, it's diluted with the wastewater and partially treated and then put into the river like Mississippi. One of the things we were looking for is currently we're hauling um, millions of gallons of leachate uh, out of the landfill to either St. Paul to the wastewater treatment plant or uh, currently to the Wilmer wastewater treatment plant. That takes several semi loads each day, especially during the rainy season of trucking in and out of uh, the landfill to haul and treat that water. The ability to not have to take a rather potential dangerous product on the road uh, was huge from a safety factor, but also uh, we don't have to uh, spend the money on staff and fuel to transport that waste. It's not very environmental sound because of all the diesel fuel that's going back and forth. And we wanted to find a better way to do it. When, 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 so when Clark Engineering said they had this concept they can treat bleach rate right on site, we thought, wow, you know, if that would, if this works, um, this this would be a great thing. We were, I think, as a board a little skeptical at first because uh, it seemed to be one of those um, proposals that was too good to be true, that we could treat all this treatment and, and change it from the, the colored water that we were seeing into the clear water. Uh, just seemed like, why wasn't it done before? If this is possible, why, why, why is it only being done now? Uh, Clark Engineering then came out and, and ran several tests. Uh, and then came to the county board and showed us what it looked like. I think that the telltale moment was when they came uh, to the county board after they had did their research, they came with uh, two glasses, two quart jars of water. And one was dark, almost looked like you know mud, almost like a dark Coca-Cola. And the other one was uh, cr uh, crystal clear water. They're standing at the podium, they're showing the county commissioners what this year looked like, and it was amazing. And I think the commissioners at that moment thought this would be a really neat concept to try out. We set up a test unit just outside here, and we got uh, some leachate into the machine, and then uh, sparkling clean water came out the other end. And uh, the gentleman they said that, okay, if you can make this bigger, basically scale this up, this would be the solution. So, so the leachate buster is going to filter out the contaminants of the water that percolates down through the, the waste out at our landfill. The goal was to treat all the leachate on site to make sure that uh, the water remained there. Uh, we could keep, keep ahead of it. Um, the, the footprint of, of the building and the, the product itself, the leachate buster, is small, but we built it for uh, all future use and in, built it in for the next 30, 40 years.
Uh, the system can run in two modes. What we call it auto mode or manual mode. The system is extremely flexible. You can run only one third of the system or, or two thirds of the system that we are running now, or you can run all three completely. For example, in winter, when you don't have enough leachate, you put two of them in preservation mode and just run one. This shows the system operation. It actually uh, takes the leachate from here, the tanks, brings it to our big tank over there, and then from there it goes through these two pumps now. These are the underground storage tanks, and the levels on those are shown in here. How many inches of the leachate is in each one? Once the level reaches a certain level, it automatically starts the system and, and pulls it from the highest one.